Powers is tiny. Powers has 600 people. There's not a lot of people like Cheyenne being in a rural community with a disability. Cheyenne, she moved to Powers in sixth grade, so she's gone through junior high and high school here, and now she's in our 18 to 21 year old program. Creating the transition program was overwhelming. And the challenge was how to make that happen in a small school where we didn't have our own building, our own program like I had heard other schools having. So what would work for us here? What would meet Cheyenne's needs? And we made it work and we got vocational rehab and Oregon Developmental Disability Services involved in helping shape her plan, her path, and um, then I was able to understand my role as from the school's perspective in what she needed and how I could support her. This is Cheyenne's path that she has chosen for herself. So it was an incredible process. It's about three hours in which we were able to set the student in the middle of the room. And we have a whole lot of people, Cheyenne's incredible support team. And we all come together and say, okay, Cheyenne, what do you want and how can we help you get there? What do you want to do in 20 years? What, let's dream big, let's talk about all the possibilities and all the future. We created the work experience by first asking what she wanted to do, and she wanted to work with kids. I started working down the grade school, putting books away when they needed to be put away, and worked with the kids, doing crafts with them, stuff like that. I'm trying to get a modified diploma this year because I would like to go to college to be a teacher. So a certificate of completion is just that you completed high school. You didn't have to go through all the classes. And so when we see a modified diploma, what we see is students that A, want a diploma, they don't want just a certification. The thing about the modified diploma is this is exceptionally rare. I don't think that anybody saw that Cheyenne was gonna wanna change her diploma. And that's really a testament to Cheyenne. It has been very supportive to work with vocational rehab, helping me navigate all the different programs and acronyms and things that I didn't understand and didn't know about. Cheyenne has come so far and has exceeded the expectations that, that people may have had for her, seeing her be more independent and on a path to having employment and being living potentially independently someday, that is, that is huge. And it has been encouraging for me, it's been encouraging for our school and the community to watch somebody grow like this. And we appreciate the support we've gotten to help her get to this point. Mm -hmm.